somebody died. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. Yeah, let's not do that again. Oh my gosh. Um, is the camera slanted or are my eyes just lopsided? Three, two, one. Action. Yo guys, what are you saying? It's your boy Moyo and we're back with another video. I hope you're smiling. I hope you're having a good day. Now let's get it. Yep, yep. Yep, I told you every single Sunday I'm gonna be here, but listen, we're not even gonna ramble on this time. You've seen the title, we're doing a quick fire Q&A, you get me, get to know me. I've asked you over my Instagram to send me over some Q&A questions for this video. I probably screenshotted the first 100 messages I saw, so um, yeah, there's a lot. Let's just get into this. Uh, if your girl says you have to stay and you refuse, what are you doing next? Leaving or letting her leave? Well, I've refused, so I'm leaving. Traveling soon. I'm trying to travel at least five times this year. You get me, I'm gonna be traveling next month and definitely in March and in June I've got something booked as well don't worry I'm gonna bring the camera along you guys will see as well how are you so handsome oh thank you it's because I've got a trim <laughs> stop it now <laughs> what team do you support I support Arsenal supported Arsenal since I was born grew up that's the first badge I saw and everyone else in my house supports a different team yeah weird what made you want to play non-league football if I don't play football I will be fat facts and it was one of my goals it was either I'll be a pro footballer or content creator I fell into content creating, but luckily I still get to play semi-pro football on the side. So I'm going to keep playing football at the highest level possible until yeah, my legs just give up or something. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for asking. How did you pass your GCSEs? Uh, how did I pass? I passed for on, on pure bants and good vibes. In fact, I used to be one of those kids that thought, oh, if I buy smart water before I go into my GCSE exam, it's going to make me smarter and somehow I'm going to pass. It worked. What's your dream job? Uh, this, content creator. Content creation. I think I said it before. I'll, rather, I'll either be a footballer, pro footballer, or content creating. Content creation fell on my lap, so we thank God. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I can't lie. If you weren't afraid, you will either end up in jail or dead. I think you need some sort of fear in your life. What is the length from your ankle to your knee? I've got long, long, long legs. Ankle to my knee. I say half a meter. What's your favorite movie and movie character? Hey. Favourite movie changes like every every couple months, but I'll say one off the top of my head, Rush Hour. The Rush Hour films were amazing, like Big Up Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. And my favourite movie character, I don't know, I don't know. My favourite TV show series character is Ragnar Lothbrok from Vikings. I'm hooked. If you haven't watched Vikings on Amazon Prime, watch it. I'm not getting paid to say that either. Where are you from and how are you so funny? Well, I'm originally, I'm from Nigeria. Uh, that's where all my family's from. I'm born in England, born and raised in England, been here all my life. I live in London. Yeah, and how are you so funny? I can't lie, I'm, I don't see myself as that funny. I laugh at my own jokes. So maybe I do see myself as funny. I don't know. This is just how I am. I'm not there in the head. Uh, would you date me? I, well, I don't know you, darling, but baddie barbs? Um, from your profile picture, you do look beautiful. So, yeah, why not? Favorite sex position? <laughs> I call it the Moyo special. Yeah, if you want to find out, jump in my DMs. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 22. I'm turning 23 this year and I can't lie, I want to throw a big party for it as well, so yeah. How many years have you been at uni? I finished uni. I graduated last year, June 2021. I was at uni for four years, three years actually at uni, one year placement. Placement basically means I just worked for the year, but it's part of my uni course. Yeah. Height. My height, I'm six foot two or six foot three. I can't lie, the last time I checked, I was below the age of 18 and I was like six one but I know I've grown since then. And I know people that are 6'2 and I'm like their height. And I know people that are 6'3 that I'm like their height. So I just say 6'2 because who's trying to add inches to their height? Ethnicity, I see, I messed this up. I'm black, ethnicity, a black African. That's my ethnicity, innit? I'm not being stupid. <laughs> that's my, that's my ethnicity. Yeah, let me just go on before I make a fool out of myself. How was the locked in experience? I'm so glad someone asked this. Locked in was amazing. I won't lie to you. I feel like I should have done a video on my full experience there and vlogged a bit there. But um, the first two, three days I was there when I didn't actually do anything. I wasn't doing any voiceovers. I was just stuck in a hotel. It was not a good time. But the rest of the whole experience was amazing. Like as soon as I started actually working and I got to meet the cast, I got to meet people behind the scenes, cameramen, producers, directors, big up Simon, um, big up Joe, and oh, I forgot his name, but 
yeah, big up to you as well. Big up to everyone that brought me on because honestly, it was one of the best things and I've never done voiceovers before and yeah, it was fun. I'll definitely do it again. In fact, locked in, bring me on next year, but I want to be inside the house. <laughs> bring me inside the house. What is the most funny encounter? Um, most funny encounter. I can't lie, I have this all the time. I'll just say anytime I'm with my friends, we just do some dumb stuff, like proper dumb stuff. Like luckily I have funny friends. So yeah, I'll just say anytime I'm with them. If we did a TikTok together, what would we do? Hey, big up Sarah. She's been supporting me on TikTok from when I was at 500 to 2,000 followers or something like that. If we were to do a TikTok, it would definitely be dancing. We'll dance or something. I'm, I'm stopped sending DMs to you thinking that you make a reel on it, but would you? And I don't really see everyone's DMs. I can't like, get quite a lot of messages. And because I haven't seen yours, I know your DM hasn't been crazy. If I was to do a reel on DMs, there's some crazy videos and pictures I get sent 24 seven or marriage proposals or something crazy like that that I get sent every single day on my DMs. It would have been on that. So uh, sadly, I wouldn't do a reel on your DMs. What's your advice on uploading content for TikTok and YouTube? Consistency, big one. You need to be consistent. Like first seven months, first five, six months on TikTok, I think I was uploading two to five videos a day. Five was like a day that I was just feeling a bit you get me excited. So consistency, patience, you have to be patient. It took me 11 years to get to content creating being my job, yeah? Content creating being my job, it took me 11 years. Some people do it in, in a couple weeks, some people do it in a couple months, a couple years, you get me? When is your time is your time. Networking, oh my gosh. I didn't know that until like the last four or five months. Big up to Bash the Entertainer as well, because I love that guy. He basically taught me to network. Yeah, without networking, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Eight inches, um, yeah, near enough. <laughs> How did you manage to balance uni and being a social media icon? Hey, big up to my boy, Dan. Uh, social media icon, I'm not there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. Um, I will know when I'm there and I'm not there yet. Genuinely, it's not even like, oh, let me, he's, he's asked me a question, so let me kiss his ass. Dan and the boys I was living with, bro, in my final year especially, the boys I was living with, they were on my back. They were on my back like, oh, Moyo, you haven't uploaded YouTube. You haven't done this, you haven't done that. For all my uni work as well, they were on my back for that as well. There was times, if I could put a video in, I'll put a video. But there were times they were beating me. They were coming into my room. They were like, take my phone and be like, no, you're not doing any like TikTok. So you're not doing any like dumb stuff. You're going to do your work. Like them lot, big up to Dan, big up to Lache, Michael, Joel, Luke. For everyone, everyone that was in that final year especially, they were just on my back to do my work. So like, yeah, big up to them. New Year's resolutions that you always make but never follow through. I think staying fit, actually staying fit is not the word, is getting into my prime shape. I've been trying to get into my prime shape since the age of like 15. 16, 17. I'll put a picture of what I looked like when I was like 17 or a video or I was 16. In fact, I was 16 years old at this time. The video that I put on the screen anyway is now. Yeah, up here is all catfish. I might look like I'm in good shape and then you go to my stomach and I'm pregnant. But hopefully this year, I want to sort it out, watch. Next question is, favorite own channel video to make and favorite to watch? Favorite own channel video to make, I'll say is my group videos. I love group videos or vlogs. Like vlogging is so amazing because capture moments on camera so you could carry on watching it back over and over again. Favorite to watch is defo vlogging and group videos. Doing any videos with my friends, like I'll insert clips in and out of this video. Doing videos with my friends is the best one to film because it's so funny, like it's genuinely just amazing to do it and to watch, I'll say group videos, all my vlogs, especially travel vlogs. How you doing bro? Like how's life been recently? Life's been absolutely amazing. Like I love life right now. I've, I've loved life, majority of my life anyway. Um, yeah, it's been amazing man. My dreams are coming true and I, I'm so grateful for it. Uh, what made you get into YouTube? I got into YouTube for myself. Like, I like making videos. It's just to watch my own videos back, to make people laugh, that's a big one. And just to put a smile on someone's face out there. Like, three main things for me. Me, you, you. <laughs> uh, net worth. Um, I'll say it's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, 110%. I don't like the tax man if, yeah. <laughs> Assuming you're Christian, how do you try and stay close to God? Um, I am Christian. How do I stay close to God? I just, I think just the best way is to like pray when uh, things are good and when things are bad. So, like, I do both. Like before it was just anytime things are bad, but now I do both. I'm not the best example of a Christian. I can't lie to you, I'm, but we're all in our own paths. You know what I mean? Your secret to staying positive and happy when life doesn't go the way you want it to. I go by the saying, 
Well, I don't know if it's a saying, but I say it all the time. I say, it's life. <laughs> 24 seven, if you're around me, you'll hear me say, it's life. It might even come across as rude. Someone will be like, oh, like, someone died and like, I'm proper upset. I'll be like, yeah, it's upsetting, but it's life. You can't change it, so you just keep it stepping. Like I've always said, don't dwell over things that you can't change, like you have no control over. So why are you gonna like let it affect you like that? You know what I mean? Just keep enjoying life, man. Stay happy, positive, because things always do get better as well. Always do get better. You might say, why are you such a bad B? You're crazy. Purr. <laughs> want you to become a big brother. Everyone, so many people have been saying this, like, they want me to be their bigger brother. Ask my sister, I'm sure she, you won't want that. <laughs> How do you get your foot in the door to work with brands? Make yourself presentable. Market yourself like, as a brand, I make sure like, listen, if I want to work with a travel agency, I'm going to start doing content that's towards travel. I did it with Sky, <laughs> big up to Sky, the TV in the background, they gifted me that. Uh, my Sky ambassador, I love Sky. Um, I did a video on Sky and now I'm working with them about 24 seven. Done video on food companies, now I work with them. But anyway, it's not about me. The best way is just to market yourself in the best way possible and network and get yourself out there. Like push yourself on social media, it works. What would you have done if you hadn't become as popular as you are now? I would have done some sort of marketing, but I would have carried on pushing to play pro football. I had offers abroad just before going to uni and while I was at uni during my placement year. <laughs> it was not sustainable. I think the one was in Turkey, one was in Northern Ireland or Ireland. The money, honest to God, I would have had to like do a job on the side, but I would have done pro football. Pro football or just some sort of marketing job where I'm in this industry, but not in front of the camera. But I have to be in front of the camera. Like, I hate nine to fives. I hate working for other people sometimes, sometimes. Most money you got from a brand deal. <laughs> Oh God. Um, <laughs> um, let's, I'll just say four figures. <laughs> I'll say four figures, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, four figures. <laughs> Would you rather have been a housemate on Locked In or are you okay with the commentating? Uh, I'll rather be a housemate. I'm grateful for the experience I, I had, but especially this year, the year that's just gone, and the locked in cast, like I met all of them and honestly, them lot are just pure vibes. And I would have loved to be in that house. I would have loved to be in that house. I initially thought when I got the call to jump on the locked in show, I thought I was going into the house. So I was so gassed. Then I saw a voiceover and I was like, eh, yeah, but I want to be in there. But yeah, I would have rather been in, but I'm grateful that I wasn't because if I'm ever to go in again in the actual house, I know like, I know what's going on behind the scenes. Do you still want to pursue your football career further or are you preferring YouTube and TikTok? The whole football thing, I love it. I'll carry on playing football till I can't. Right now, I feel like I prefer the whole YouTube and TikTok thing because I have more time for myself. I think people underestimate how much time and effort goes into football. Like it's not just training two, three times a week and then playing a match. Your life is kind of controlled your whole football career, which is, I don't like. I don't like at all. With YouTube and TikTok, I could do stuff. I could have my own personal relationship with you guys as well. Footballers, I don't think they have that. Like, I get to talk to you guys on a regular basis and communicate with you without doing the whole media press and stuff. Now, right now, I say TikTok and YouTube and social media, but I would love to see how far I could get with football. I'm still doing that. Would you rather be a shark on land or a bear in water? A shark on land, because a bear in water, oh, you know, no, a bear in water, if it's able to breathe, <laughs> <laughs> it's game over for every every fish in the sea. I love your content and your messages. You're so funny. Greetings from Munich. I love, big up my German people there. I can't lie, I'm in Germany in March. I'm gonna be there. Or next month, probably next month. I'll definitely be in Germany. Uh, what's your body count? I is way, way lower than you think it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> way lower than you think it is. When's the Sunday midweek meetup? Listen, bro, we need to link up but life's crazy right now, it's very hectic. And you got a girl, you're always down and bright. And so, um, yeah, soon come and I wanna make a song with you. How many times do you, oh wow, that question is very wild. How do you manage the workload? I don't. <laughs> I do not. I have no one to help me, like, I have no assistant, I have no PA, no uh, manager, no agency doing my work for me. Like I do the emails, I do the brand deals, I do the filming, I do the editing, I do every single thing you see right now is me. <laughs> is me. But yeah, how do I manage the workload? I just, it's life. You just deal with it. <laughs> 
Uh, when are we going on that? Yeah, that one's not for YouTube. But I'm going to take you somewhere soon. <laughs> Uh, any tips for first years at uni? Yeah, um, have as much fun as possible because uni, first year of uni for majority of courses do not count. So please enjoy your life and to the max. Ever been to Ghana before? No, but I need to go. I need to go to Africa. I need to go to Nigeria. I need to go to Ghana. I was meant to go to Morocco at one point. Um, like, listen, Egypt, I want to go to. There's bare places I need to go to in the world. Like, I need to. What makes you feel good? Uh, making someone else happy. And being able to support family and friends. That is a big one for me. Like, if I can support them, <laughs> Smiling. Why are you shit at answering unless they got more than 15k followers? You're crazy. I don't care how many followers a person has, you're still going to get the same 7 to 10 working day reply. My own mum is struggling to contact me when I'm outside the yard because my, my replies are terrible. Terrible. I don't care how many followers you have. There's people in my DMs with I think over 1 mil, 2 mil followers and I still haven't replied on my life. God knows, I'm not even I'm not even just chatting rubbish with the camera. I still haven't replied in over like five, six weeks. How's the jump been from uni to full-time content creating? It's been very easy. Content creating is the hardest job I've ever done and I've done a lot, a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> but um, the jump between uni, balancing social life, uni work, uni stress and growing up, because uni is all about growing up, that was a lot. But content creating is basically the same thing. I've got work, I have to socialize, and I'm still growing up. So yeah, it's, it's like, I didn't get a break. It went from, I graduated, the day I graduated, the next day I decided I was a full-time content creator. So yeah, I've not had a break. Yeah, that's it, mad. 27 minutes of filming. It was meant to be a 10 minute video, crazy. Hey, listen, thank you guys so much for asking all the questions. I actually love doing this. I'm gonna do this probably like, once every two, three months, 110%. I'm liking this a lot. And it's probably gonna be easy for me to edit as well. So yeah, it's definitely happening. Yeah, big up to you lot. Thank you so much for asking all the questions. Please follow my social. All my socials are your boy Moyo. I've changed everything. I'm gonna change my Snapchat to your boy Moyo as well. So every single thing you see me on will be the same name as my YouTube. So yeah, I do a lot on my Instagram as well, a lot like away from YouTube. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, make sure to subscribe because we're trying to hit 50K by the end of the year. But yeah, I love you a lot and we're out.